It's Monday, June 17th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. A Hillsborough County deputy is recovering from injuries after getting into a shootout with an armed suspect wanted for killing his own parents. Deputies arrived to a Tampa home late Saturday night after a woman called saying her 19-year-old son, Christos Thramelis Jr., had shot her husband. Ma'am, get out of the house now! Deputies say shortly after they got there, Thramelis then shot his mother before firing at deputies. <laughs> I'm hit. Tourniquet, 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 tourniquet. They shot back, hitting and killing him. A neighbor says she knew the Themelis family and often worried something bad would happen. He always talked about guns and what kind of weapons there were in that house. The sheriff says before Saturday's shooting, deputies had been to the home at least 10 times since 2021 to settle disputes between the teen and his parents. Detectives in Pasco County are fearing the worst after finding human remains on a property where a young family was last seen. Rain Mancini, Philip Zilliot II, and their two children, Karma and Philip, were reported missing on Friday. A friend told deputies the family was visiting a home near Hudson in a rural part of Pasco County. Deputies say that home belongs to 25-year-old Rory Atwood and that a search of his property revealed human remains. Here's Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako. Before leaving, Rain's friend hears someone say, this is the last time this happened, you pulled a gun on us, referring to Rory. And I go back to it, those two poor little children. It's heartbreaking. They, we, we believe they, that they may be on the property deceased, but we do not know that definitively. A friend told investigators the group had been drinking at the house when an argument broke out. Right now, Atwood is in jail, accused of first-degree murder. And gas prices have dropped another five cents, bringing the state average to the lowest level in months. According to new numbers released overnight by AAA, the average for a gallon of regular in Florida is 325. That's 25 cents less than last month, and the lowest prices have been since mid-February. Experts say the decrease is due to a drop in crude oil prices. If you're heading out on a summer road trip, though, the national average is a bit higher at 3.45 a gallon. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. In the early 1900s, Kissimmee became known as the cow capital of Florida. It was the result of a national marketing campaign. And by the 1920s, the Partons and Whaleys introduced the purebred Brahmin cattle to Osceola County as a way to expand their own business and put Kissimmee on the map. The county even continues to recognize Rodeo Day, giving kids a day off from school to celebrate the city's rancher heritage. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.